Hello everyone and welcome to the Panicosa stream today. I'm sorry we're late. We are trying something new. We're trying out a new format and setting up this room takes a long time and we just weren't anticipating it today. <laughs> so we're, we're excited to, to show our new format. Today I am welcoming guest Alex Payne, designer. You've met him before. Hello there. The famous laugh that we all know and remember. <laughs> That's not even, <laughs> I'm just looking at our names popping up and it's cracking me up. Okay, so sorry we're a bit late. I'm looking at the chat. Thank you all for joining and sticking around, waiting for us to start. Um, so basically the new format is we're focusing on the community more. So for the last year or so, we've been working on the Enchante Valley Community Park. That's not stopping, of course. That's a long work in progress. But um, basically we wanted to show off some of the community blueprints and stuff that we haven't been able to do since we stopped doing Workshop Wonderlands. Um, so we have a few blueprints that we'll like to show today and then we'll also be um, doing a backseat builders. Alex will be building, uh, we'll be doing a giveaway. So it'll be fun, it'll be a fun stream, definitely worth sticking around for. Oh, let me see who's in the chat. It's very small, so I'm going to squint. We have Joel, we have Alexis, we have I, I can't, Rahul, <laughs> we have Heather G, we've got Vincenzo, welcome. Uh, we've got a few other people, I just can't read it from here. Can you read anyone? Uh, Kiwanator. Uh, blue jeans. C yeah, this is very, we should have zoomed this in. <laughs> but hello everyone, welcome. The life of Mars. Oh, the life of Mars, welcome. Okay, so I feel like we should start with um, some, some blueprints because I really want to show them off. We haven't done it in a while. Um, so the first one that we have to show is the balloon trip by my daughter. Okay, check this out. You can't see it. No, I so can't Alex see can't this. see what we're showing because it's uh, all good. for the backseat builders, he'd be able to see this monitor and we didn't want to show him. We didn't <laughs> want to give him any help. But check this out. So um, I really like this. I really like this sort of like um, sort of Indian theming that you get. Like this is very Aladdin, uh, which everyone always says whenever we have anything that looks even remotely like a palace. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's another, there's another picture of this one as well. Um, it's very nice at night. Or sunset. Oh yeah, all sunset. Can you see this? You might not <laughs> be looking. <about. laughs> but it's very nice. I really like this one. I really like the, the lighting. It's, it's very cool. Uh, we have another one. We have the Snow Splash by Graf Hugo. Yeah, very, um, very icy, which is I feel like fits the current theming because it's very cold lately. That is true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're looking at me and I'm like, I'm not in short, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's so cold. When I came into this room earlier, it was 18.5 degrees and I oh, thought bliss. I'd gone. I've, no, I was like, is it snowing in here? <laughs> this is the coldest room I've ever been in. We've got another photo of this one too um, at night. But yeah, it was so cold when he came in here earlier. It was, it was Whereas my house doesn't go up to above 16 on the heating. So. What? Are you joking? <laughs> that's, that's nice and comfortable. 18.5 is perfect, says Bongo Baggins. Bongo, you are incorrect. No, you are correct. I'm with incorrect. you. Incorrect. <laughs> uh, we have another blueprint. We have the Tunnel of Love by Coaster Freak. We recently showed this on uh, social. Um, but yeah, it's very much like you can imagine, you know, like in a, a rom, uh, rom com or a romantic film, and they go on one of those coasters and it's like slow, and then there's like fireworks and stuff all around. <laughs> That's exactly what this is the tunnel of love. We have another one as well, um, but this one looks way creepier. It looks like the Cheshire cat at the front. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what? <laughs> <laughs> but it did crack me up when I saw this one. But this is like a fun, it's a fun, a fun blueprint to go around. We showed this on social and it got a, a lot of uh, good feedback actually. We have another one. We have the, I think it's pronounced Kado Park by Lily Bats. We have like six photos of this park because it is a whole <laughs> park. It's very, um, very like purplish. Lily Bat is well known by the community as being very, um, what's the word? Very like, she loves a spooky build. So yeah, we've got, we, we can cycle through these. We've got a few more to show. Um, but I think these are really cool. <laughs> Let me see what's in the chat. Hello, good afternoon, welcome. Is it afternoon already? Blimey. Well, Blimey. <laughs> yeah. We've been in this room since 11 trying to get this stream working. I'm glad it finally is. We were worried. <laughs> but now we know in the future things that we need to check. Um, but a whole park, the Cadeau, um, the Cadeau Park is a whole park. You can download this from the Steam Workshop. They do look very atmospheric. That's what I thought. Hello, Gregor Burns, welcome. Uh, we have another uh, like park. It's the, the Palantos like City of Dreams by Combat Wombat. This is insane. Can this you is, see this? I, I just about can see this if I lean over. This is insane. Oh, wow. That is really cool. Yeah. So you've got all of the, it's, it almost makes you think of Rivendell. 
from um, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's huge. So we have like a bunch of these that we can show. Um, but Combat Wombat is very well known <laughs> for insane blueprints, insane builds. This would have taken up this like Combat Wombat considers this to be a, a small park. They've said like this is my this is a minor <laughs> park. Like mm, don't even don't even worry about it. This <laughs> isn't no, I didn't even think about this park while I was making it. You know, I was so chill. Whereas I spent like hours just putting together like a single building. So <laughs> it's insane. But they've got. Um, I think, there's, I think the reason that they consider it to be a small park is because it only has one coaster. <laughs> so they've you got one it. massive coaster, yeah. and then they've got like some smaller, like uh, like a boat ride, I believe there is and stuff. Mm, I love the boat rides; it's they're so cool. cool. Yeah, and then uh, and then obviously they've got the full the full park around it, which is pretty cool. Um, I love it as well because it looks like it's uh, set all the lighting, themed it for nighttime. I love it when you look at a park in nighttime; you've got all the lights everywhere. I love nighttime <laughs> builds; the they're best. so good. It's like one of the first workshop wonderlands I did was neon themed and. Oh. Um, I was like, yeah, I love it, it's so good. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> but we have one more thing to show, and this is actually a video from Tommy T, the incredible Tommy T. Uh, we can show that. It will <laughs> okay, so how cool was that, everyone? How cool was that? We were just talking about it. I don't know if you could hear us. I've also moved the laptop here because I couldn't see the chat. Um, <laughs> in case you're wondering what this sudden laptop has popped up for. But how good was that? <laughs> Tommy T is incredible. Uh, we, we talk about Tommy T constantly mm. because we love Tommy T. The stuff that Tommy T makes is, one, very realistic, but two, it's just kind of like mind-blowing it's also fairly active on the forums i think I've tommy seen t is yeah. always around yeah i've definitely seen him tommy t is like one of the staples of the uh, of the planet coaster community because he just loves building the most mm -hmm. uh, and then he disappears for a while <laughs> like, i wonder what he's up to and then he comes back and it's like the most insane thing you've ever seen like the yeah. future world uh parks that he's done oh well, my goodness phenomenal we have showed them before i think we showed them on like frontier extras and stuff um and of course social but like Honestly, go and see that for yourself. I just wanted to preview it because I wanted Tommy T to actually get the views instead of us showing you here and you not feeling the need to go onto his YouTube channel mm. and support him. Please, if you want to check that out, go and check it out on uh, Tommy T's YouTube channel. Just type in Tommy T Planet Coaster on YouTube and he'll come right up. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's we're done now, for now rather, with the community <laughs> blueprints because we are doing another Planet Coaster stream later this month. So I didn't want to use up all the, the recent blueprints <laughs> in this stream. So we're, we're pretty much done with the, um, with the uh, community blueprints for now. So I feel like now is time to look at our Backseat Builders Challenge. Okay. Are you prepared? Are you ready for uh, this? I'm so ready, like, yeah. <laughs> so I was, I was, you know, I was worried when we started talking about doing these new streams, the new format, that um, the Enchante Valley Community Park would, like, die out. When it's, it's, it's such a strong series, you know? It's been such a work <laughs> in progress for over a year now. So I really wanted to, uh, to start finding blueprints that I thought fit in the park, but obviously because... Uh, we'll have like devs on such as yourself. Mm. I thought, well, how do we incorporate a build that's like and from the community, but have a dev build it <laughs> instead? Backseat builders. So, so does this mean that my blueprint might be a bit of a permanent attraction? <laughs> it, it probably will be. The problem oh, is though, I've, I've realized <laughs> that um, the main problem is that for some reason, I don't know what it is, for some reason, the, uh, the build so, so from the 24-hour live stream, and everyone remembers, I'm sure, Will's uh, very weird 
addition to the park. <laughs> that is not on this on this machine. It's now on the upstairs machine, but it's not on the downstairs machine. So, Ooh, so you've got to do some fun merge work now. Yeah, I'll have to merge <laughs> it again later. Hello, crowd pleaser. Um, but yeah, I, I'll have to merge it again. It's not gone. If you're wondering where that is, don't worry. It's not gone, OK? It's still, <laughs> it's still around somewhere. I'll bring it back as soon as I can. All that work is gone. <laughs> It was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't know why we let Will build. The thing is, for over a year, for over a year, Will hasn't been on the stream. So I was like, right, we need to bring him back. We need to bring him back. And then you finally bring him back, and he builds the most atrocious thing. This is his like, plan. It's so why he doesn't have to come back. back? <laughs> <laughs> so why did we do that? But um, yeah, so it is still around, in case you're wondering where it is. Um, because we can go into the game now. Um, let's, show the, let's show the game. Yeah, we are, we are still here. We're still in the Enchanté Valley Community Park. We're still in the apocalypse area. So because there is a volcano, um, that's like, right, yeah, we've there got a is. massive volcano. Oh, wow. Um, that has a oh, coaster wow. coming out of it. So down there at the bottom of the volcano, we're building a sort of apocalypse area. Um, Just go for a fly through. Yeah, you're going to get to the awful uh, queuing area, though. So, oh, I love a good queue. Oh, no, it's not a good queue, that's what I mean. It's just a queue. <laughs> um, and if anyone's wondering, I have paused it. Yeah, we, um, <laughs> this is just how I thought. This was originally a. Oh, it's right, it's broken down. <laughs> this was originally a, a creation with uh, Stegs, who's now left. Um, so, this was like an ongoing work of progress that he was working on, and now he's just gone. So, will it ever be finished? <laughs> who knows? But we've got an apocalypse area uh, around here. That so, is a very long queue. Yeah, so I thought, why don't we add an apocalypse, an apocalypse build? Right. <laughs> so I don't know if you'll be able to show the backseat builders that we'll be doing today, Paul. It should be the last asset in the uh, in the photo asset area that we were just showing off. Yeah. So if you do, so this is the one that we're doing. I remember Shantae and Steg starting this off, going, "Needs more lava." Bongo, water, <laughs> water. That feels so long ago now. I feel like we must have started this blueprint. Sorry, I've, 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 I've just wandered off. No, it's okay. <laughs> we must have started this blueprint like 10 months ago, this volcano. Mm. And it's been very long. Although, we have added more lava because we built... Because <laughs> lava, why not? <laughs> we built on the stream a couple of weeks ago. We built the, um, we built the sort of apocalypse area. So there's a little bit of lava that goes around that ride. So more lava has been included, for sure. It's that. It's 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 there. It's around. <laughs> but yeah, big I feel like we should start your top. your backseat yeah, builder. So I it. will describe to you what you I would to, like you to build. You would like me to if you go down to the apocalypse area, it's going to be like a um, like a shop. So if you just okay. find a little bit of space, um, like where that tree is on the right in front of there, I think that will work. Okay, is it quite a small four by four type? Um, it's it's a bit bigger. It's bigger long ways. Um, so from the front of the shop, I'd say is about the widths of two shops. Okay, but there's yeah. only one shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. <laughs> so if we place a shop down, let's do um, let's do food. Why not? I think this one is designed to be an information, uh, like desk area. But mm -hmm. I feel like let's do some food. I don't think there's so, any food um, around here. You can choose. If we're, we're going for an apocalypse. What food would go with apocalypse? I feel. Burritos? Burritos, yeah. <laughs> Let's go for burritos. But I just like burritos. I think I about them like quite the constantly. I like the sushi one as well. I love the you colors. can do sushi. It's up to you. Yeah, let's do some mind. apocalypse sushi. If you rotate, yeah, so it's around here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. I think move it further along to the right. Yeah, I think okay. that's okay. Okay, so we've got one of these. And what we need to do is we need to build like a sort of rotten um, sort of, what's the word, wall around this rotten like wall. a rotten kind of wall uh okay let's go for <laughs> wall pieces let's hello ian when you say rotten hello, is it sort of i can't describe the material i'm just gonna say it's like a rotten sort of right. brownish brownish <laughs> okay uh, okay it needs to be kind of like yeah kind of kind of dingy looking around this shop. Let's go for a four meter high wall pieces so I can see them. Ian said, I don't think they would tell us anything on the console editions until near summer, I think. So we are basically building up to a console edition, of course. Um, it will be coming out later this year. We would like to talk about it 
when we get closer to it. For now, like, we've got so, I say this every stream, we have so far to go now that, um, that like, if we start talking about it now, we'd have nothing to talk about closer to the time. <laughs> Shante has mentioned she's played the demo and it's looking good. It is looking that. phenomenal. <clears throat> Alex, have you seen the, the Planet Coaster demo with the controller? No. No, you haven't. <laughs> and you're working on it. <laughs> it's, it's really good. So I had the pleasure of seeing it when um, we had a. Oh, you need to put it around the shop. Yeah. Around it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, when we had like a, um, we've had like a content creator come and visit. So we showed it to um, to them, and then we also had a. Um, we, we like publishing team had a demo so that we know what we're talking about when we come on streams. Mm. But um, it looks great. You can play. It. it has a controller, obviously, because it is on console. But it has a mouse and keyboard um, support as well. Um, Oh, I really want to talk about it, but like, no. Being you need a, to keep. I'm being a bit stupid here, but auto stacking's on, and I can't get it off. Oh, you just just move it down. Just press um, shift when you're. Yeah, but the... I, like, I don't like auto stacking. Oh, on. you've got it there. Just click it. Auto stacking's right there. Just click that one. Yep. Just click oh, it's it. there. All yeah. oh, right, it's off the screen. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. There we go. Yeah, we've got we've got we've got a couple of months to go, so before we start talking about more stuff, we've got we've got a while now, so. But it's worth worth looking forward to. I'm excited. I can't believe you've seen it. What have you been doing? <laughs> it's um, it is exciting. But we had the pleasure of seeing it. Lloyd uh, demoed it to us with um, Gary, and uh, and we were blown away. So right. So now you've done this. Yep. Now we need to build like a sort of like a um, like a plain wall. I don't know what kind of material it is. It's like a but it's like a reddish sort of uh, color, and a it goes alongside of... this to the left. Okay. Reddish sort of one, and it's plain. So uh, it's go for the. Ian says something to look forward to. I agree. Yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like there. Yeah, you're about right. And then you just build another square next to this. I think. Yes. Yes, that works for me. Okay. And then it has sort of like a um, like a slanted um, sort of roof. Okay. Let's go to our. So roofs. it's like up at an angle. Do we have? Rough sort of height. How sort of? It's just like slanted. It's not. It's not a significant slant. It's kind of raised. Nothing crazy. But yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go for what the wooden ones because you've got some nice. Hello, Lapino. Welcome. I'm not talking much because I'm concentrating. That's okay. <laughs> talking while building is very difficult. I don't envy. This is why content creators do time lapses so that they can talk over it because talking while you're building is very, it's sort of good very tough. Too, um, too high. Uh, that's not what I would have gone for, but I think right. it's okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I would have gone. It's more like so it slants towards the back of the build. Right. So it starts at the front and slants to the back. Okay. And. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, like a other way around. Yeah, from the front to the back. So like Yeah, that. like this, yeah. Right, okay. Now will work, and then... Then we need to fill in the gaps. No, so they do have not filled in these gaps. Oh, okay. Because then. it's an apocalypse build. So I assume what they did is they just thought, that's, that's good enough, that looks broken down. <laughs> so okay. what they have done is they've used sort of pillars to hold the, uh, okay, to hold so. the roof up. So columns, wooden pillars. Sure. So you, you can't say can. That would work. I'm happy with that decision. <laughs> <laughs> so they've kind of like, they're kind of like at an angle, holding up the roof. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a an actual column. Uh, that would work. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like in the side of the build, and then it raises the roof. It raises the roof. Up. Cobra says, bye, I'm going to play Planet Zoo now, it's a really nice game. Bye, see ya. Lapano, what's up, did you say? Nothing much. Just uh, just having some fun. That was, I was very good. Just doing some, uh, some building, some backseat builders, of course. We, um, we are doing another Planet Coaster stream this month, and I believe it's the, the last Tuesday. Oh. No, it's not the last Tuesday. It's, the, it's like the 25th or something. And we'll be joined by uh, Lisa Bowens. The lovely Lisa. But we'll be highlighting some adventure pack builds and stuff like that. We've already decided adventure pack is what we're going to do. But for the first one, I thought we'd keep it a bit more casual. So this, sort of this sort of thing holding it up? I can't actually see the back of the builds. This works for me. But they also have them along the, the side. 
because down the side they have a bunch of like wall decorations. This is so helpful. Yeah, so they have a bunch of, so they have like another. Well, I'm putting some on the back here first. Yeah, so they have like another sort of plank um, around the front, on the front uh, corner. And then that also is holding up the roof. I'm curious how I've managed to get this in such a funny angle, but I suppose it's broken down, it's fine. So we're so I'm just reading it. Dark says, I love your planet games, but what they are is time consuming <laughs> from France. All good games are. Yeah, <laughs> all good games are time, uh, time consuming. You just want to so spend time with them. That's the point, right? You just want to continue. So you're saying there's some sort of decorations around the sides? Yeah, because it's an apocalypse build, this, this building essentially is being held together by random things. So there's like some random stuff on the side of the wall. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> like that. Like this. this is what you wanted all along. But isn't it? more things like it. What happened? It says France in force. Yes, yeah, it's nice to see some of the French around. Yeah, but like more. Yeah, more. Yeah. Like a bunch of stuff. It doesn't just have to be this column. It can be like, like a bunch it. of stuff. I like this column. I'm attracted to it now. It's, <laughs> it's just like a bunch of random things. <laughs> That um, I just like around I'm just here. Drop one of these down. Sure, here. why not? It's uh, artistic expression. Yeah. I'm Hello, just, James. Welcome. It's part of a roof piece that's just randomly fallen now. You just yeah, you just want to keep it like it's an apocalypse build, so we need to keep it looking sort of like a lot of stuff has happened and the building has fallen apart. But to keep it going, they've they've. I'm, I'm changing this, please. I'm gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're just gonna do whatever you want now. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'm fine with that. As long as we get something oh. close to what we would like at the end, which is a, which essentially is just a nice building that is usable by uh, the guests in the park, then I'm happy with it. Interesting. So we've had like a blown out corner here. Mm. Okay. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's that works for me. <laughs> but there is, there is still, but we need to still put stuff I on know. this wall <laughs> to make it look like something has happened here. So, I mean, if you want to make it look like there's been an explosion, yeah. then there should be at least a rubble around, right? Yeah, I can find some rubble. Oh, this is what's tough. It, well, what's it called again? I don't know. I don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for the bits of um, broken. Is that down some in the corner there? You're looking for that sort of thing. Yeah, that'll do me. I don't know why it's at the front, where uh, that wall is perfectly together. <laughs> well, it's there now. <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. That's not what the blueprint is, but that works for me. We could show the blueprint again. Um, well, let's show the community the blueprint again that we're trying, that we're aiming for. So this is the <laughs> blueprint that we're aiming for. I'm trying hard not to look because... Um, <laughs> it's, I mean, already we'll have to admit some things because there's not enough room at the front, but I think that's fine. That's all good because it can, it's fallen into the pathway. Yeah, I think it works. Yeah. Um, Sunny says, are you describing a build for someone that someone else has done and he has to try and recreate it without seeing it? Exactly right, yeah, that Sunny. that's exactly what we're doing. We're doing, it's called Backseat Builders here uh, at Frontier. Um, and uh, I'm describing the blueprint that you just saw to Alex here. And Alex is trying to build it and add it into the park. Um, it's a work in progress. Well, I feel like it's going well. Like you have, you have a lot. You have uh, like another twenty minutes. So you're doing fine. Yeah. Um, but I feel like there should be more stuff yeah, around. That, that's like so more. <laughs> Just more. Just Give me do more. Do like more things that you think would would work in an apocalyptic area. I'm trying to think. So this this blueprint uses a lot of sort of those planks that you used to, to, as like a reinforcement mm. on the wall. But since you deleted that wall, because you yeah. decided to I didn't like it. explode it, yeah. you are free to do artistic expression. But I feel like to keep it true to the OG build, we should still have some, um, <laughs> some stuff to, like to nod to it. Yeah. Uh... I just want the western wooden beams. And if I'm being blind, it's all good. <laughs> I feel like we're doing well. You're doing good for time. Here we go. This is the one I 
Yeah, like yeah. that sort of thing. But they cool. use it to kind of reinforce the wall. So it, it, as you got rid of the side wall, you could do it at the front. It doesn't matter to me. I think that works. So they were sort of crisscrossing ac across mm, it, sort of yeah. like a scaffolding type thing. Yeah, that sort of thing, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just like a reinforcement. So scaffolding, yeah. But it's on the wall. So. Yeah. No, it's not. Place. Clapper says, I love his laugh. <laughs> You've got a lot of compliments on your laugh from the uh, from the 24 hour live stream. There's also a lot of people that asked you to, uh, to keep it down. I'm sorry. You're being very noisy. <laughs> I, I can't help it. It's, uh, it's, it's just me. It's a trademark around the office. Everyone knows it. It's true. <laughs> we do. We do. I, I have people recognize me in town because they can hear my laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yay. Hello, Raphael. Welcome. But how is everyone in the chat doing? Hope you're doing well. You're playing some Planet Coaster. What are you working on? Or maybe you're playing some Planet Zoo. And even then, what are you working on? I like hearing what people in the community are doing in their games at the moment. Like I've seen a lot of um, a lot of screen, uh, screen, some street, no, some Steam <laughs> blueprints and stuff um, that people have sent in, and they're really cool. But we'll actually be holding a um, a Planet Zoo competition in the future very soon. If you want to get involved in that, but it's not your generic building one. It'll be quite different. I'm excited to do it. It is a very um, ah yes. I see what you're doing. Mm, yes, they don't really reach the wall, but that's okay. <laughs> it's all good. I can block move it. Red Dragon says, "Good morning, Shantae and Will. Will, Will's not around. This is Alex. Uh, this is designer Alex Payne next to me. Yeah. Um, long time no see. Hope you've been doing well. Yeah, it's really nice to see you, Red Dragons. How are you? What are you up to? I'm just doing this in case there's any flimmering." <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I've been working a lot on my Star Wars themed coaster. I can't wait to finish it. Is it like Hyperspace Mountain? Because that's great. I want to know if it's anything like that. Stanley Keyboard Man says, I spend way too long on the parking lot and roads for my new park. Whoosh. That does sound long. Parking lots take ages. That's why people upload their, their parks to the Steam Workshop. So with, is, this, um, is this the sort of thing you're looking for, by the way? Yeah, that sort of thing works. That works just fine. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, we could... I mean, they use a couple more, uh, and they use different materials as well. Okay, let's get a stone pillar in there, then. So they use... They use yeah, they use something a bit different as well, just to, just to make sure it's very reinforced. Isn't there some... Ah, oh, there, no. We've got some coaster pieces. Here we go. Can I change the colour of this? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit big, actually. Hyperspace Mountain looks like Small World next to my attraction, modesty aside. I'm excited to see it. When you finish it, you should send it to us, community at frontier.co.uk. I'd love to see it. This sounds very interesting. Ooh. Oh, yes, this sort of thing would work. This is probably what you want to do wrong, but... <laughs> I don't think it is, but it still works. I don't... I mean, I'm just following the blueprint, but you are free to do your own artistic expression. <laughs> So they basically found a nice piece of material and then just thought, I know, we'll put it out They've just propped it up against the wall because it's not really connected to anything <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> They've just been like, yeah, that'll, that'll do. That'll fit there. Yeah, that works. Uh, I mean, it's floating. Yeah, no, it won't be. Oh, I see what you're doing now. Okay. I'm slowly eking it back. Right, that's going to go there. And let's put in something else against... We need, like, words of encouragement in the chat. We need to see... Uh, yeah, please do give me some. We need to see what uh, is Alex doing well. <laughs> we need to. Uh, we need to hear it. We need to see. I'm gonna get some temple wall pieces. I love these. I think you're doing fine. I think like you're still you're still in the spirit of the build. Uh, too big. Where's the one by one? Okay. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing fine. I've got a clear thing that this thing's propped up on. Ah, uh, yes, I see now. You're trying to, you're making like a little ledge for it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's holding it all together. Oh, that's still floating. Uh, we can bring these two down. I mean, it's not connected to the roof anymore. 
No, but that's what these big things are for. I see. These are these holding up the big ones. I see. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm fine with this. So they have sort of like broken down, not broken down, sort of like dead weeds and stuff oh, around flowers. this as well. Um, yeah, it can cover up the gaps of the nature. Yes, yeah, so they've got it like sort of kind of around this, not really towards the back, but they've got it towards the, the right and left of the build. Is that building safe? Um, nope. I'm building it. Definitely peak. not. I don't know if it's safe. Um, but I think it's fine. It looks better than my creations. And I don't know if that's true, if I'm honest. I've, <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think Alex is doing well so far. You've gone for a very dramatic sort of broken down build uh, uh, foliage. Yep. We now know why the wall fell down. <laughs> Tree grew up through <laughs> Amsterdam 2020 so, TwitchCon. Yes, that, that is happening. That's I don't know if we'll be going to it on behalf of Frontier. We'd like to. It's on our radar. Elizabeth says, hello, sorry I'm late. That's not good enough, Elizabeth. We need to hear exactly why you, you are late. It must be a note in some form sent directly to our office. Uh, posted <coughs> first class, of course. It's good to have you around, Elizabeth. I think, it's, I think it looks good so far. It definitely fits in. I mean, we need to do something to the front. Yeah. Because the front looks okay at the moment. As in, like, it looks like a normal building. And yeah. that's not acceptable because we're in an apocalypse area. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the front, they have sort of like a, um, a very similar material, um, but like a something to protect the shop, like a, like a slanted thing in the wall. That's like, it protects the top of the shop. Yeah, you don't you don't mean an awning. Do I? I don't know. <laughs> I uh, don't know if I mean an awning. Just off the screen. Yeah, this uh, we need to. I don't know why it looks like this, but we should really um, sort this out because the corners of the game you can't see them in the uh, on the on the screen down here. So Alex is purely guessing where things are. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an old ruined bus stop out in the country. Love it. Thumbs up, Alex. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Red. Protect that poor vendor from rain. We're trying. Okay, very interesting choice. Uh, oh. It's only there, though. You've got it. You can, I mean, you can place another one if you like, but for this OG blueprint, that's the only one. And then on this wall, they have sort of like a, like a symbol, not a sign but like a, not even really a symbol, but like something they've put it on the wall to sort of, to sort of um, warn people not to come to this area. So it's but not, not a sign. It's not a sign, but it's like something that they've, they've sort of like nailed into the wall uh, to tell people not to, uh, okay. to come to this area. We can show the, should we show the original blueprint again, Paul? Um, I've got Paul producing this stream today. Um, and it's, uh, not any of the sign pieces then? No, it's not like a sign, but it's like something that is against the wall to, um, to sort of like warn people. So they have a light, you could add a light in as well. They've got a light mm. and they've got sort of decorations on the front, but one of the key pieces of decoration is like something to warn people not to come here. And it's, and it's not alive, um, but it's like something that they nailed to the wall or like just pinned up on the wall to warn people not to come to this area. I hope it's as good on console as it is on PC. Randy, 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 it will be phenomenal. They've really been um, like, obviously we know that oh, Planet Coaster on PC is quite a heavy game. Like we do ask for <laughs> some, some good specs um, and consoles do not have that ability. So to make it run well, they've done an insane amount of optimization. Um, it runs very smooth. Coaster building on console is like a way smoother experience, <laughs> I feel, because you're using the, the, the analog sticks. Honestly, it's, it is so smooth. I'm so excited for people to play it. Honestly, it's really, it really is, good. It's, it's really good fun. It is good. 
All right. We need, you need to put something there, Alex. We're running out of time. You remember 10 minutes ago when I said you had loads of time? Yeah, well... You don't have loads of time anymore. <laughs> I know. So but we've got a... We've got a so you need a light. You could add a light here. I'm going to put... I know you said it's not a sign. I did say that, but I see we're just ignoring what I said. That's yeah. okay. Because I can't think of any other way of doing it easily, so... <laughs> but they've got, like, more foliage. Not foliage. Um, more decorations on the front. So they've got like, just think of anything that's, that you think like, what would people take with them if there was a, an, a like an apocalypse? They'd use things like, um, things I can't describe because it's cheating, <laughs> but they'd use like, they'd have things that are efficient that serve a multi-purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So, is, uh, <laughs> so. Let's go for some barrels then. Barrels works, <laughs> barrels works with me. I think that's fine. The controls will probably be confusing though. I think um, I think that goes the same as most games. Um, when you're doing something new and it's there's a lot going on, but I think that the team have some very good solutions to making sure that you understand how to play the game. Uh, you can connect a mouse and keyboard. Uh, Planet Coaster Console Edition will support mouse and keyboard. This is working. Yep. I think you need more. I know I need more. <laughs> Maybe on the wall. Yeah. Maybe this on is, the is, wall. This is what I have Sam. Like on yeah. the wall. This is what I have Sam Daddy for. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's all going well. I'm liking what you're doing so far. But, uh, let's um, just have a. I oh, know. I'm gonna stick. If we got a nice dilapidated fence of some sort, I'm gonna stick that on the wall. Okay, interesting choice. I'm not sure why I'd stick it on the wall, but that's fine. Because it looks like it's prettier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, interesting choice. Not sure I'd follow it, but yes, put more stuff on the wall, says Crowd Pleaser. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Right, we need cheers of encouragement because we haven't got long left. But I'd really like to do a giveaway as well. So we're going to, we might as well do a giveaway while we're, while we're still working on this blueprint. Um, what should we put in the chat? Um, if you would like to win any of the um, DLCs of your choice, um, just put hashtag coaster in the chat. And then at the end, you'll be able to email us and tell us which DLC you would like. Hashtag coaster, put it in the chat, please. If you would like to win a DLC of your choice. You still need a light. Okay, I'm liking what you're doing. You still need a light on the wall. You can't talk about how much you like things looking good at night and then not put any lights there, Alex. <laughs> uh, okay, one more piece of greenery. Oh, that looks good. Yes, put hashtag coaster in the chat for a DLC of your choice. I would, but I don't even have the game. Okay. <laughs> I'm not so, sure what to tell you there. Uh, I mean, you could still do it. <laughs> Lights. So, if they're in an apocalypse, they've probably only got some really weird industrial pieces left. So, this kind of looks semi industrial. Interesting choice. <laughs> Not no. sure that's the one I would have chosen, but that's okay. No, As I said, it's the first one I see. It's all about artistic expression. That oh, the one that you yeah, that one yeah. really works. <laughs> that one, that one would really work. Okay. Why everything keeps coming on to a really weird angle? I don't know, but hey ho. A plushie of gold pee. Do you know what? I was thinking about this earlier. I was thinking like, so Jurassic World Evolution has plushies. Planet Zoo has plushies. Where are the Planet Coaster plushies? The problem is, of course, that we'd have to get them specifically made. Whereas the Planet Zoo one that we have, the Planet Zoo ones that we have, are made by a company that supplies them to us. And then the, the Jurassic ones, I assume, are made for things like Universal Studios. And then they sent us a batch of them. So those aren't particularly specially made for the game. They're kind of like an overall thing. But where are the Planet Coaster ones? I would love a Golpi one. Golpi was, of course, robbed uh, for best, uh, <laughs> best mascot. 
and it went to it went to um, King Coaster, the fool. I don't know who voted that. It's, I would have definitely voted Golpy. So it's, it's all about uh, Foxy Coffee. Yes, Walks that's true. With swag. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, I I'd love to have a Golpy mascot suit. We mm. were actually thinking of giving away that um, that that suit that we have that uh, was worn at Frontier Expo, but um, we were worried that it would be like a fire hazard to, <laughs> to like ship and everything. <laughs> so we just left it. We just left it alone. Put hashtag coaster in the chat. So. Wait, what's Elizabeth saying? What's Elizabeth saying? Yeah, we've got some lighting. He's the best true mascot. Who? I can't see what you've said before. I would love a gulpy plushie. Yes, yes, yeah, me too. Right. Maybe it's something that we can explore. Anything else you'd like to see? <laughs> I mean, let's. I feel like we're. It's, it's very different. We're to what very you've close done. to the end of the the um, the stream now, so I think if you put things around, like so, with the barrels, I think the barrels were a good idea. Yep. But I think you could put more decorations <laughs> on the floor. Just more. Uh, okay. Right. I've got but it doesn't have to be like it could be anything. Anything that you think serves a multi-purpose. Maybe like something that you that is like a storage container, that sort of thing. Cardboard box. That would have lasted. Yeah, it's in the rain. That definitely would have lasted. <laughs> but I mean, we're pretty much we're coming out to the end. I want to um, just briefly talk about the um, the uh, streaming schedule. So obviously, with this stream, you might be wondering like, why are we downstairs for a Tuesday stream. We are trying to mix it up. We're trying to do something a bit different. Um, before we had uh, like Tuesdays at Planet Coaster and Thursdays for Jurassic. Our worry is that like with things going on this year, we just won't have the time to continue to keep doing that. So our solution to this problem was to um, was to incorporate all of our games into the Tuesday streams, apart from Elite, which will still have its own dedicated uh, Monday slot. Um, but that is by a different team, so they can continue to do that very easily. What we're doing instead, if you haven't seen on the streaming schedule already, is that like this week we are doing uh, some poster. Next week will be a different game. I think it might be... Oh my goodness, I don't even know off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, it might be Jurassic, but it could be also Zoo. I, I don't know off the top of my head, but every week will be different. The streaming schedule is on the forums, um, so you can definitely check it out. Um, what are these? Dynamite. Oh, why have you got dynamite? <laughs> you and why have you put them along the side of the build? <laughs> <laughs> but we, um, yeah, so we're trying to be a bit different. We're trying to, we're trying to, um, just Make sure thing. that we can continue to do the streams. Obviously, after Stegs left and uh, we stopped doing the Jurassic streams for a while because we just didn't have the capacity. So our solution is to start doing um, the streams on Tuesdays instead. Joel, thank you very much. Joel has posted the streaming schedule in the chat. Thank you. Looks more comfy, Shante. I feel very far away. <laughs> it is quite far. I even had to put glasses on for it. Alex has to put glasses on everyone. <laughs> but I feel far away, but I am enjoying it. Like we really, we want to use this room more because it's a really cool room. So yeah, I think it's a, uh, I think it's, I think it's cool to be back in here. Cool. And all right. That'll do me. Let's show the original blueprint again. <laughs> um, it is on the screen if you want to check it out, Alex. Yep. Let's see. So you have like a whole fencing area. At the yeah. Front. So I've got a printed copy, but you can't uh, really yeah. see the front as well. So. So we got. There was like a fence, but we put it too close to the front. Yeah. We put it too close to the path, but I think we have a good solution. I used some of the, the crates. The thing that was on the wall that I was trying to describe to you was a skeleton. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean. I, that, that doesn't I say feel like stop. Mine, <laughs> mine was like a warning not to come here. That's that's dead and see, is on the wall. <laughs> see, see, when you say when you say this, I'm I'm thinking, this feels very uh, survival in the middle of like uh, American desert. Yeah, sort of like feel. an apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. Whereas <laughs> I, no, no, because for me, apocalypse. I'm thinking you've got all of this grey surrounding. You've got the fire, the volcano in the background. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking like the world's. Everything's covered in um, nuclear waste or something. That's, okay. That, so that's what I had in. in Why would there so. be nuclear waste around a volcano? 
Why wouldn't there be? Who would have put anything nuclear related around a volcano? Think of the uproar <laughs> that people would have against the government <laughs> if there was like a nuclear waste plant next to a volcano. Well, how did you get to but this how conclusion? Do you, how, how do you know how far away they could be? That's true. That's true. <laughs> right, we do have a winner for yep. hashtag, uh, hashtag coaster. It is Stan the Keyboard Man. Congratulations. Uh, please email us, community at frontier.co.uk, and send us uh, which pack you would like to have. Just email us in the, uh, in the email. Tell us, I would like Planet Coaster, whatever um, DLC you would like. Um, that is community at frontier.co.uk, and we will get that over to you. But thank you for joining us, everyone. How was that stream for you, Alex? That was very good. Thank you for joining <laughs> me. I know that you were, you were feeling a bit anxious yeah. before the stream yeah, i was maybe pacing up and down the office before <laughs> alex came to see me before the stream and he's like is my shirt okay <laughs> i'm feeling anxious i was like it's fine alex you're fine it's all good but um no i thought i feel like we had some fun today i really want to thank everyone for joining us please let us know what you think about this new format um i think uh i think next stream we might show off some more blueprints we did start a little bit late so the timing was a bit off but <laughs> i think we have some more to show um I just saw Red says, nice work, Alex, you did awesome. Um, the Life of Mars says, you guys always do giveaways. We try, we try, I'm doing where we can. Um, was fun. Ooh, yay, to stand the keyboard man. Yes, congratulations. Ian says, Shante has explained this in many streams. I don't know why, <laughs> I, I don't know why I've explained Ian. Congratulations, says crowd pleaser. <laughs> I, I'm guessing this is to stand the keyboard man for winning. But yes, thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Uh, tomorrow we will be streaming some Planet Zoo uh, at 7 p.m. UTC, because time zones haven't changed yet, everyone. It's still 7 p.m. <laughs> UTC. Um, so we'll be streaming some Planet Zoo. That will be with Bo and uh, head of animation, Nick Rogers. They will be continuing the career mode Let's Play, if you'd like to join in there. Um, but we will be back with some more Planet Coaster towards the end of the month. So check out the, uh, the streaming schedule to see when we'll be back with Planet Coaster. Um, but I mean, if you're part of the Planet community, I'm sure you'll be around for some of the Planet Zoo streams as well. So definitely continue to join uh, those. They'll always be on Wednesdays and then we'll have some more uh, Tuesday streams as well for Planet Zoo. Yes, thank you for joining. And uh, I'm sure we will see you all again very, very soon. Bye, everyone. See you all. <laughs> <laughs>